Rhea is a phenomenal baker who runs a bakery in New York. On seeing the great success of her business, she thought of growing it even bigger and launching a new franchise of her bakery in LA. So for the funds, she applied for a loan of $50,000 from the central bank. After completing her documentation for the loan, she comes to know that the bank is rejecting her loan application due to her loan borrowing limit of the amount decided by the central financial system. Furious with this situation, she talked to a friend Lisa, a finance expert, to understand how this whole centralized financial system of banks works. And why did her loan get rejected? Lisa explained to her that in centralized finance, banks and businesses use the money that you invest or lend to make profits, and their overriding objective is to make money. Third parties or merchants like debit credit card providers control money transfers between the two end parties in the financial system, each charging a fee for their services. And that is why her loan got rejected, because the loan amount exceeded the limit decided by the bank or third parties for her. Rhea was upset with the thought of not being able to grow her business. And that is when Lisa suggested Rhea to opt for decentralized finance, or DeFi. Rhea got a little confused by the term and asked, what is decentralized finance? Lisa answered that decentralized finance is a piece of code that eliminates middlemen or banks by allowing individuals, business merchants, and corporations to perform financial transactions using developing technologies. Peer-to-peer -peer financial networks that provide security protocols and connectivity to the transactions are used to accomplish this. Stablecoin is a cryptocurrency backed by an asset or tied to a fiat currency like the dollar, is at the concept's core. Rhea was fascinated and asked how it works and how exactly DeFi could help her get her loan approved. Lisa further added that DeFi uses the consensus mechanism to eliminate centralized finance models by allowing anyone or everyone to utilize financial services, regardless of who they are or where they are. A consensus mechanism refers to the methods used to achieve agreement, trust, and security across a decentralized computer network. Now, this DeFi mechanism runs in a decentralized environment. And this is where blockchain comes into the picture. It provides the environment where you can simply create your decentralized programs or dApps according to your requirement. In the blockchain network, transactions are stored in blocks and other users in that network can verify them. If a transaction is verified by all its verifiers, the block is closed and encrypted and a new block is created containing information from the previous block, thus creating a chain of blocks. And these transactions are handled by decentralized applications, or say, dApps. Lisa further explained that Rhea's loan got rejected due to the lower limit by the centralized financial system. But in DeFi, she can submit her loan requirements into a decentralized finance application, dApp, and an algorithm would match her up with peers who could help her. After that, she'll have to agree to the lender's terms to get her loan. The transaction is then recorded in the blockchain, where it will be securely stored in a ledger that will make it impossible to hack or any kind of malicious intervention. And after that, she'll receive her required amount of money once it is verified by the consensus mechanism. The lender can also then begin collecting their payments at the agreed upon intervals from her. When she makes the payment using her DApp, it goes through the same blockchain process and the money is transferred to the lender. Rhea was impressed and relieved that she now could grow her business in a much more secure and cheaper way, all thanks to DeFi. DeFi is meant to conduct transactions using cryptocurrency. Because technology is still evolving, it's difficult to say how, if at all, existing cryptocurrencies will be applied. So here's a question for you. Which concept does DeFi use for its implementation? A. Smart contracts. B. Consensus algorithm. C. D apps. D. None of the above. Please give it a thought and drop your answers in the comments section below. Three lucky winners will receive Amazon gift vouchers. Decentralized finance is still in its early stages of development, yet it is rapidly changing and expanding to replicate the traditional financial services ecosystem. Whether through decentralized exchanges, lending and borrowing of various asset types or insurance products, and it could have an impact on the future of centralized financial companies.
with DeFi being considered as a cheaper, faster, and more relevant alternative. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, a thumbs up would be really appreciated. Here's your reminder to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for more on the latest technologies and trends. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn.